Welcome, I'm Christine. I'm owner and content creator of bloomingbrilliant.net where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my 11-year-old daughter, soon to be 12, and my seven, soon to be eight, year old son, and we homeschool right here in Brooklyn, New York, and I love to share our homeschooling journey with you. Today, I'm hopping on and trying to get my feet back into the video recording ocean and talk a little bit about procrastinating. So we are all probably in the deep depths of homeschool planning for the home, new homeschool year or we already started our homeschool for the new school year. Either way, there may be some procrastinators among us or you may be just procrastinating certain portions of things in your homeschool. And I wanted to talk about it because I'm right there with you. I am. I tend to procrastinate things and I stress and overwhelm myself and overthink and then I, I try not to do the things and that's not good and then I feel bad about not doing them and or I get mad at myself because they don't come out the way I wanted to or I feel I put like all this pressure and I know I'm not alone I know that the rest I'm sorry for any noise in the background my kids um, but I know that we all have this pressure that we put upon ourselves especially as homeschoolers to try to do the best that we can for our children and also we tend to look at everybody else and see what they're doing and then that makes us kind of procrastinate doing things that we wanted to do because we feel like we need more information more research and sometimes it's just best to just do it not think too hard about it not try to like look at all the YouTube homeschool halls for the grade that you're going to teach before you choose the curriculum before you fill out your individualized home instruction plan you know sometimes it's good to do a little research and then just go with what you think is best so don't overthink so much that it causes you to be in a procrastination paralysis which we which I have t I tend to do sometimes and then I have to like put on my big girl pants and I have to say no we are going to do this we are going to get the paperwork filled out we're gonna send it in we're gonna pick what we're gonna do for the year you know get your kids involved you know do the research but don't get stuck in the research phase of it so this is just a short video talking about procrastination and all that and I'll try to do more. If you have anything that you want to talk about, drop it in the comments below and I can hop on and we can discuss and that would be fun. So I hope you guys have a great day. Happy homeschooling. Bye.